All right, today we're going to start drawing atoms. Now, you're going to want to have that handy dandy periodic table close at hand because we're going to use it quite a bit in this lesson. Now, we're going to start with something that we know. You probably remember this from some middle school classes that you had in science or maybe your high school chemistry class. We're going to talk about drawing atoms. Let's take one, an atom, for example, like, oh, let's say lithium. Well, we're going to draw this atom. Now, let me first say this. What we're drawing is not accurate. We, we, scientists don't really know what atoms look like, but we know a whole lot about atoms, and we know a lot about atoms because of all the experiments we've done on them. And so we're going to draw something on paper, and we're going to draw it sort of like this. Actually, let me, let me put it down here. You may remember that atoms have a nucleus, and then they're going to have rings of electrons that go around, and this is real important to make sure you write down somewhere. A reminder, ring number one can hold up to two electrons. Ring number two can hold up to eight electrons, and ring number three can hold up to eight electrons. Two in the first, eight in the second, eight in the last. That's the most. They can hold less than that in each ring, but you have to fill each ring before you go to the next ring. So two in the first, eight in the second, eight in the third. Now an atom really doesn't look like this. This is how we draw it on paper or on the board so that we understand in our brain what's going on with the electrons. So let's try one. Lithium. Well if you look up lithium it's element number three on the periodic table. Now for today we're going to ignore the neutrons. So we know from the atomic number right here that it has three protons and because every atom is neutral if there are three pluses, there must be three minuses. So you're going to have three electrons. It's neutral. What we're going, and we've done this in the past, what we're going to focus on today is drawing what that looks like. So let's say that's the nucleus of the atom. If I have three electrons that I have to put on this atom, that means I'm going to put one, two in the first, remember two go in the first, and I still have some more electrons. There's my three electrons. Now, the first ring is full. Second ring is not anywhere close to full. First ring can hold two. Second ring can hold eight. It would need a whole lot more to be full, but that's what this atom looks like. If we move over one element for beryllium, beryllium is element number four. So it has four protons and four electrons. It's neutral also. So this atom would be one, two in the first, and two in the second. Doesn't matter where you put those electrons, but there they are. Two in the first, two in the second. Now if you look at the numbers, you'll notice it says three protons, three electrons. Well, where are those three protons? Well, those three protons are in the nucleus. We're not going to draw those. We just know whenever we put the nucleus, there's the three protons. The three electrons are spinning around outside. For the beryllium, four electrons, four protons. Four protons are there. They're the four electrons. Now let's do one just a little bit bigger. Let's do one like phosphorus. Phosphorus is element number 15. So that's 15 protons, 15 electrons. Neutral. When I go to draw this, that means there's going to be one two in the first, eight in the second, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. That's eight, nine, ten, still have some more. Eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. Doesn't matter where I put them, but there's all fifteen electrons. Now you'll notice very quickly that when you take something like lithium, it doesn't have very many electrons and protons. It's a smaller atom. The more electrons and protons you have, the bigger the, the atom is going to be. You fill a ring, and then you go to the next ring, and then you go to the next ring. So the bigger the elements there are on the periodic table, the more electrons are going to have around them, and the more rings there are. So that's the difference between atoms is how many rings and where are the electrons sitting. The electrons are super, super important, but what we're looking at today is drawing atoms. All you have to do is take the numbers off the chart, the atomic number, tells you also how many electrons you're going to have, and you draw them in the rings. Remember, two go in the first, 
up to eight in the second, up to eight in the third. If you have to go, if you go any more rings, it's eight in each of those rings. So two, eight, eight, eight. And that's how you draw atoms.